What's up guys, welcome to your 111th Android tutorial for the new Boston and what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up some stuff that we're going to need for SQL Lite and creating a database and basically what our application is going to do is you're just going to enter a name and a hotness like if you meet a girl at a bar and you know you just want to like in the morning you're like was she hot or not you can check your phone and see what you ranked her on a 1 to 10 scale and then if you meet back up with her and you're like whoa man I must have been really drunk because I rated her higher than I thought so that's basically the application it's pretty shallow but uh, yeah that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna hit an update um, create some kind of database with the name and the hotness or the attractiveness rating we hit view and then um, it's gonna pull up with that database so first XML layout I called SQL Lite uh, example and uh, as you can see I have an edit text or two text views and two edit text um, I had an age in there I'm gonna probably delete that and then two bu two buttons there so let's go over to the code so you guys can match up exactly um, to follow along with now this SQL thing might take a little bit uh, I'll kind of explain what it is and what we're gonna you know what we're gonna do but um, here we go with our edit text uh, I just called it ET SQL name for the first one and for the second one ET SQL hotness and uh, for a button I just uh, referenced it as B SQL update and B SQL open view so you guys can get that set up or you know if you don't like this uh, layout you can set up however you'd like next we need to create a Java class I called it SQL Lite and it extends activity implements on click listener nothing new um, just added those two buttons and those two edit text and we're gonna set the content view to that XML layout that I just showed you set up our references again nothing new um, just talking through what I've done so far just in case and I set our on-click listeners and created a switching case to you know um, we've done this many a times uh, just to determine which button was pressed so that's one class I called the SQL light example and I put that one in our menu activity so you can select this this class now we need another class that we're gonna view um, view our database so I called that one SQL view and extends activity and we're gonna set content view to our next XML layout that we're gonna set, set up. That one's called r.id, oops, r.layout.sql view, like that. So there we go, uh, now, now we have to create this, uh, you know this XML file. So um, right now it's just blank probably talk through what we're going to set this one up as in this tutorial and then also after you have that set up uh, you also want to create one more class that's going to handle all of our uh, pretty much all of our database or SQL stuff and I called that one hot or not um, because again our application is going to be just uh, judging the attractiveness of someone so now that you have those all set up um, again this is just a class doesn't extends anything or imp uh, implement anything at the moment so there we go we have that set up now let's go into our SQL view XML file alright and so just to do something a little bit different with this uh, this XML layout we're gonna use a table view um, so I'll kinda explain or show you guys just a brief example of that so we're gonna go into our layouts drag and drop a table layout here and also one row then we also want to have three text views so we're just going to drag and drop three text views and switch over to the code we're going to format everything now we have a okay maybe we didn't need to drag and drop that row in there um, so actually we're just going to um, All right, and for first, our everything's kind of messed up, not the way that we want it. For our first text view, we want this to be our names, and we don't actually need an ID for this, so we're just going to delete the ID for our text view, and uh, we want it to fill parent for width. And 
and fill parent for height because we're going to uh, use weight sum so we're actually going to cut that text view and paste it within our first row here so let me reformat and now what we need to do is actually we don't need to define anything for a row so we're just going to delete everything for a row here and as you can see added a few extra rows we're actually going to delete that um, you know delete all these extra rows and then we're just going to drag our table cut that paste it right here and let me reformat so you guys can see what's going on here um, so we basically we have a linear layout that's vertical fills parent then we have this table layout that we want to also fill the parent um, for both width and height and then we have one row uh, within that row, we have two text views, which we want both of those text views to fill, you know, everything it can. So fill parent and fill parent. And we also want this third text view to fill the parent as well. And uh, for this last text view as well, this is what we're going to actually, uh, you know, get info um, from database. We won't see this text really because our database is, we're going to set, you know, our database information to this text view. Um, but, you know, just for reference, you can do that. And we're going to label this text view TV SQL info, something like that. Um, now for our second text view, we want you know attractiveness or hotness or whatever you guys you know want this application to do for the most part. And again, we don't need really an ID for here as well. So let me again format everything. Check out how it looks. Um, looks pretty good. They're side by side on the same row. Uh, next, next we just need to add you know some layout weight uh, to each text view. So we're just going to add that real quickly. kind of review here but you know the, the table layout is something a little bit different so thought I'd show you guys that I mean it, it might be convenient you can do you know different rows and then you can define how those rows work it's really up to you what you want to do um, but you know this is supposed to be beginner series so I thought I'd show you guys all the options or you know most of them do something new every time and as you can see that looks pretty good uh, the only other thing that we we aren't getting is our third text view um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap the content of our whole linear layout which will kinda pull everything together so for the height anyway so wrap content and uh, let's check that out so that looks pretty good um, so that's table layout and introduction to SQL uh, which we're going to actually get into in the next tutorial. Um, but hopefully you guys have every, everything set up. Again, we have created five things. SQL Lite Example XML. Um, SQL Lite Example uh, Class. SQL View. SQL View XML. And Hot or Not Java Class. So uh, hopefully you guys got everything set up, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.